means. That means that if you were smart, you would see what is causing the inflammatory immune response and then eliminating it. Does that make sense, Terry? You want to eliminate the problem, not suppress the response. Yes, go ahead. I'm concerned about the adrenal effect. Uh, of course. It's the, the, the effect on the adrenal glands. It's like yeah, the among blood. other systems. But yes, of course. Of course it's going to affect your adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are the, the, or where these things are produced. And if you take them exogenously, if you take them in a drug form, your adrenals are going to suppress their production of it. You follow me? Okay. This is why you, this okay. is why you got to wean yourself off of it slowly because you're going to get off your prednisone and now your adrenals aren't making the stuff. So it's playing with fire to be on them. Are they lifesavers? Yes. Are they? Can they be dramatically helpful for pain? Yes. But that doesn't mean you stay on them for a long time. It means maybe as a band aid or as a temporary fix until you figure out what's causing the problem. But here's where it gets so tragic, Terry. This is where, it's, and and I know you'll understand this because you sound like a savvy healthcare guy. All right. This is where it's tragic. The, for the most part, inflammatory immune responses of the kind that prednisone helps with or, or steroid drugs help with are largely digestive issues. That's a tragedy to me because what it means is by doing some simple moves with your digestive system, and I spend hours, I spend days, I spend years explaining the mechanisms of why this is, how the food gets into the blood and initiates an immune response. Forget it. Don't even worry about it. Just focus on food. If you're, you like the mechanism, which I find fascinating personally, then it makes perfect sense if you, once you explore it. But don't worry about it. Just fast. Why do you think every single chronic degenerative disease, the symptomology of every single chronic degenerative disease will begin to, uh, will, will begin to subside when you stop eating? Just Google it. Google fasting and chronic degenerative disease. Google fasting and cancer. Fasting and aging uh, or anti-aging. It's all, everywhere. It's hidden in plain sight, as I like to say. You know, and the reason is, is because you're quieting down the inflammatory response, which largely comes in from food. And keep in mind, sugar is also pro-inflammatory too after a certain point. So it's not just bad food or leaky gut syndrome. It could also be sugar. I'm sorry, Terry. Did you want to say anything else? One last thing. I'll let you back to business there. Um, would you consider being an expert in a lawsuit I have against pharmacies <laughs> that are withholding the side effects of cortical? I, I don't know if I'm. I don't know how much of an expert they would consider me to tell you the truth because I'm. I'm an anti-expert. I, I try to make it all simple. You know, I don't think I say things that are complicated on this program. You know, experts, to be an expert in something, you know, you got to study it for a long time and, and, and all the, all the minutiae of it. And I don't necessarily know I'm an expert, but, you know, maybe I have a certain expertise. I, I, I try to stay away from court, though, if I can. But thank you for right. the invitation. I appreciate it, Terry. Have a beautiful day, man. Take care. And by, I forgot to mention... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Terry. I cut you off there. I forgot to say one thing, too. If you're going to start to take in more fats, if you're going to start to get on your EFAs and you're going to start to make sure you're using your coconut oil and, and even regular fats on your salads or whatever you're going to do your fats, it's a good idea to start using more vitamin E also and selenium for that matter. Both vitamin E and selenium have a protective effect on fats. Vitamin E in particular is super. That, that's, its, that's its raison d'etre. That's its reason for being alive. It does a few other things, but its main, its main function in the body is to protect fats, fats on your membranes, fats in your, in your tissues, and fats, and nutritional fats, and dietary fats. So if you're going to start using fats now, and you're going to up your intake of fats, and you're going to go ketogenic, and you're going to go high fat, whatever, make sure you're using vitamin E, uh, 400 international units a day. Make sure you're using selenium as well. Um, the ultimate selenium, probably 400 micrograms a day, something like that. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Larry in Colorado Springs. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, yeah, my name is Larry. Yes, sir. Uh, I think I got tangled up in Agent Orange when I was in the military. Okay, I think you uh, sent me some. Was that you that sent me pictures? Yes, that was me. Uh, and yes, uh, I agree with you. Doctors are lazy. They're lazy, and especially the VA. Yeah, are you will. going to the V? Are you doing the VA thing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing the VA and uh, civilian doctors, and okay. they look at it and say it's one thing, and give you medication, and shove you out the door, and that's the end of that. Here's the thing, Larry, though, with all due respect to your doctors, because it pisses me off, too, or it makes me angry also, okay? So, but with all due respect to them, they're seeing hundreds of people a week, you know? Yes, it's, they are. It, this is how it is. We shouldn't expect the kind of tender, loving, careful 
health care that we deserve, we shouldn't expect that from, a, from the medical model. And by the way, your doctor doesn't even work for you anymore. Your doctor works for the hospital. He works for the HMO. He works for Kaiser. So his allegiance is not to you. Your doctor's allegiance is not to you at the VA. It's to his boss. And this is a huge, huge problem that Obamacare and Bernie Sanders don't tell you, and none of the po- political folks tell you about when they talk about guaranteed health care, universal health care. You know what I'm saying? You might get universal health care, but it ain't the kind of care you're going to want. So uh, I don't mean to be blaming and ripping on doctors, but the fact of the matter is there is a laziness that keeps them from looking for the cause. Here's, here's the thing about Agent Orange and, and the pictures you sent me, Larry, okay? And for the listeners, Larry sent me some pretty hideous pictures. No, no offense there, Larry, but they were, they were pretty bad. Uh, it, what troubles me is that it's not healing. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look like no, based on the picture. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's healing. So I don't know necessarily that it is Agent Orange, and I'm not sure why you're thinking it is. It may have happened, started with the Agent Orange, but the skin should heal. The skin heals very readily. In fact, the skin heals faster than any other system in the body, with the exception of the digestive tract. The skin and the digestive tract heal fast. You're not healing, and that tells me that something's happening to you chronically. Something's getting into your body over and over and over again, not just one time. You follow me, Larry? Uh-huh. You with me? So y- you yeah. can say it was, if you think it's the Agent Orange, and I'm not going to say yay or nay, but you lose your power. You can't do anything about the Agent Orange. That's over. What we want to do is figure out what's getting into your system chronically. So what you need to do is do what I tell everybody to do. First and foremost, figure out, look for problem foods. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can do a food journal where you write everything down and then, uh, and then how you feel from a digestive system perspective. You've probably heard me say that a million times. I like you to fast before you do the food journal so you kind of hit the reset button. In fact, even just fasting, Larry, for three days, see if you notice that your symptoms, your, your skin issues start to heal or start to resolve itself after three days. Do a Swirl V cleanse, perhaps, where you do half a bottle every hour of the Swirl V from uh, Beyond Organics. Are you doing Longevity products, by the way? Larry? Am I doing any what? Are you doing the Longevity Longevity products? No. No. Okay. Why don't you do this for me, Larry? Um, I'll work with you personally. Uh, I got your email. Uh, Send me another one with your phone number. I'll give you a call here in the next few days, and you and I will work together. We'll make you a case study, okay? Okay. All right. Good deal. So send an email, put your phone number in there, and uh, I'll get, give me a few days to get back to you. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. And yeah. thank you for everybody for listening. Appreciate you all. And I hope we helped you out. hope you learned something. hope you upped your game. That's what it's all about is making you better on the bright side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about MCTs and vitamin E and the lymph and fats. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.